Hello, my name is Avery. This is Online Income Network. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Promote button in Creator Studio. Essentially, what it does is that it will redirect you into Google Ads so you can promote your videos from up there. It gives you an option to start doing paid promotions, which is something that you could already do, but it's never been integrated into YouTube itself. You would have to go off of YouTube into Google Ads and then kind of carry it over or you would use something else like Sprizzy or Tabula or something like that. But now they just give you the option to go straight from YouTube to Google Ads, which was a good idea. And I mean, to be honest, they could have been done that years ago. But let's go ahead and check it out. From the Creator Studio, I'm gonna to go to the Videos tab. From the Videos tab, I wanna hover over a video and you can see a menu show up. On the right of that menu is three dots to open up another menu. Clicking on that, I can see promote right in the middle. I'm gonna click on that and you'll see that it takes me to another page. At the top it says, you'll promote your video using Google Ads. You will now be redirected to sign in or create a Google Ads account. Get started. If you have a Google Ads account, you'll be sent to this page. I've already made an ad campaign with this setup that you can check out here. You also have the option to switch to an advanced campaign or you can make more advanced changes to your campaign later. If you need to create a Google Ads account, you'll be sent to this page. The first thing you'll see is create a video campaign. At any point, you can skip the guided setup, and if you choose to click on the link, you will be asked to confirm your business info and then press submit. Then you'll be able to explore Google Ads, but first let's finish this ad campaign. You can see in the video ad, my selected ad is already shown, but I can cancel this one out and use a different video by clicking on the X and putting in a different video URL. Below that, it asks, how do you want your ad to show up in YouTube? I have two options. The first option is automatically play before other YouTube videos, and the second one being place as a thumbnail next to related videos or on the YouTube homepage. Depending on which option you choose, your ad will appear differently on YouTube as you can see in the ad preview on the right. If you place your ad to play before other videos, you will be asked where do you want to send the viewer and then you'll need to put in a URL. I'm putting this as a thumbnail to show up beside related videos, so I will need to put in a headline and two descriptions. After filling that out, I can press continue and go to locations. From here, I can include which countries I want to promote my video in. Under that is languages. I already have English set, so I'll stick to that, but on the right, you can see that there are other recommendations. When done, I can press continue and go to audience next. We start with choosing demographics. There are three columns, starting with gender, age, and parental status. Under that is customer intent. You can choose to keep it as broad as possible or reach people who intend to buy these products or services. If you choose the latter, a list will pop up and you can choose from that list or you can do a search. I wanted to keep my audience as broad as possible, so I'm gonna skip that and go down to budget. From here, you can select the currency and the daily amount. You can change the duration of your campaign and the amount that you wanna spend per view later. Now we can go to billing. In billing, all you need to do is put in your billing information. Once you get to the billing page, you can also see that there is an option to put in promotional code. That just so happens that I have a promotional code that in which case Google will match whatever you put in up to $150. You can check out that video here. There's a couple of things I still wanna to do to that campaign. So what I wanna do is make sure I have the video campaign highlighted. And then I'm gonna go into settings. And you can see here, I can still edit a few more things that I couldn't before. First off, I can change the campaign status. Right now it's enabled, but if I wanted to pause it or even remove it, I can. So I'm gonna pause it and press save. Another thing is budgets and dates. Now we had a budget, we had a start date, but we didn't have an end date. And now we can use the end date. All I gotta do is go to edit from here and select the end date. And then all I have to do is press save. I can go to networks. I can figure out if I want my video to show up in the search results on YouTube as well, or I can leave it as is. 
If at any point in time, I wanna change my languages, I can do that from here. Same thing with locations. From here, I can see my bidding strategy is maximum cents per view, but I don't know how many cents per view I am paying. So let's find that out right now. On the left, under your ad campaign, is your ad group. You wanna highlight that, then go to settings. My bidding is set to six cent per view. That means that the most I'm willing to spend per view is six cent. There are more things I could show, but I'll leave that for another video. So that's all I wanted to show off today. Hopefully you enjoyed the information. If it was useful to you, why don't you like, subscribe, share with a friend, and click the bell notification so you can get notified when new videos come out from me. I have a new playlist called the YouTube Help Desk. It gives tips on YouTube, just like this video here. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Also, I made a new Facebook group called YouTube Spotlight. It's where small YouTubers can go, post their content, comment on other people's content, and ultimately just grow as a community. So if that interests you, check it out, join the group. Thanks for watching.